Welcome back guys to Mountain Blade Warband 1257 AD where we play as Emir Idris Alvatik who tries to restore the Almhud Caliphate to its former glory. Right now we're still a vassal of the Marinette dynasty and we're at war with Portugal. And it's uh, very problematic. We're currently healing up here in, in Fez, in the castle of Fez. Uh, because we've taken quite a blow on the way, um, well, walking around from Tangiers to Fez and Fez to Oran. We've been attacked by bandits and they have taken quite a blow. They've hit us very hard. Um, they're not particularly powerful, but I was just trying to re-raise an army. So we had a lot of untrained soldiers and they all perished in the fighting. But uh, let's actually get out of here just so um, I can show you what is going on. Because right now, um, our... Emir, our marshal, has called for a second, uh, for the second siege, the second assault on Coimbra. Now that's all uh, fine and 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 nice. I'm gonna follow them. He has actually asked for me already to join his cause. But the problem is that currently the city of Oran is under siege, and what that means is, should Oran fall, we would lose our village, and with that, our manor. And those two things are making the most of our money. Now we won't you know, run out of money. We still have our productive ent enterprises. Uh, if we have a look at our report, our budget right now, we're still making tons of other money. So as you can see, all of these businesses together are almost enough to pay for our troops. We'll, we'll only lose 16. So that's still good. But we obviously would lose a huge part of our income. Um, and I try to avoid this. But there's nothing I personally can do. Uh, we need everyone together to defeat uh, these men in Oran. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. But for now, let's actually move on to Malacca. Maybe we can sell some more stuff. And then we're going to head over to Karembra and join up with the other fellow emirs. So uh, let's move a little bit faster. We have to be careful, obviously. There may be Portuguese guys all around. You never know. Um, and there's some Mediterranean bandits. Yeah, we only have 26 men. We're pretty damaged. We probably should actually heal up somewhere. But I just I just don't know a, a good place, a safe place. There's no safe places out there anymore. I'm just happy that no one else is declaring war on us right now because it seems as though the Marinette dynasty is actually very weak. So not being at war was probably what kept us alive. Um, as you can see, I'm actually building some more, well, crossbowmen and spearmen. I have I have less infantry now because we're doing mostly sieges and less open field battles. So I felt like they're much better. So let's actually go to uh, the marketplace here, see if we can sell something. Yeah, the wine is pretty good here. Yeah. Uh, anything else we could potentially sell? Uh, it's not really a good price. I don't want to. I want to sell it for such a weak price. We'll see. Um. Oh yeah, we have tons of things. A tempered Saracen cavalry sword. That's even better than the one we have. Ah, uh, guys. No, I can't. I can't spend another 60, 60 gold on another sword. Although it looks really cool as well, doesn't it? It looks cool indeed, and it's much better. It's one-handed, it has even a longer reach, uh, it's just, well, it's almost as fast and more damage, but no, no, it's fine. Um, let's see if I can sell something else. Uh, the wine, I wanted to sell the wine, there we are. Yeah, okay, take that all, that should be good enough. Uh, can we recruit some Andalus Urban Levies? You know what, they're Muslim, we're gonna take them for now. And I guess, um, how are we, how are, how's our party looking? Not too good, not too good actually. This is a tavern for now. Um, okay, no ransom broker here. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm going to go and meet up with our guys in Coimbra. Let's see if I can find them. And then we're going to have to, well, join the siege and hopefully we're not going to lose too many men. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Welcome back, guys. So we are currently here in the siege tower about to storm the walls of Coimbra. <sighs> Man, um, there's not really that many defenders left, so I'm pretty sure we're going to take this castle much quicker than, well, we did before. However, we have one big problem that I already discussed or I already mentioned earlier. Oran is being besieged. Now, I don't know if Oran is also a town with a siege tower or just mere ladders. Now, I know that Oran has more defenders, so it's going to last a little bit longer than uh, this castle right here. But I don't know for how long. And I don't even know if our men, um, our marshal, is going to summon uh, all of our troops back to defend Oran or if it's just gonna fall and if it falls we're definitely gonna lose our village and I would hate that I would hate that so much because I've already invested so much into the manor um, 
even more than we have actually gotten in return. Now it's it's pretty close. I mean, I've I've really been going, uh, going around, and I've I've sold a lot of stuff so far. But I don't think it's yet enough to actually pay for itself, pay for the cost of all the upgrades we had. So I don't know. I feel like if we were to lose our village um, and our manor now, we would have actually lost money in, in well, uh, in total. And I wouldn't want that. That would be quite terrible. It would be very difficult to get our village back. And I don't even know if I want it back. I'd rather have a town because villages can always get raided. But towns, you can, uh, you can stack defenses in towns. Now, I need to be careful because this guy is throwing stuff. Yeah, he wants to shoot at me. Uh, I can feel it. Alright, let's let's move in there. Come on guys, let me through. Let's actually give my get my falchion out. It's a little bit faster. Oh, I actually dealt some damage. Good. Move forward. Why well, am I always the only one on this side? I don't know. Then there's a thousand men coming. Come on. Take them out. Nice. Okay, he's fallen quick enough. Alright, yeah, we're pouring in. Uh, I don't think they have much of defense left. Uh, okay. We take care of this guy and maybe we can take him from behind. Nope. He sliced half of our life away. Oh my gosh, what is going on? I hate it when they turn that quickly. Alright. We've taken care of him. Are there any more defenders? Alright, I would have I would have hit him. Anyway, so we've taken the, the town much faster this time. They didn't really have enough time to garrison it properly. Um, but let's see. We've not taken any casualties, that's good enough. Good. Let's leave this and maybe we can sell something here, I don't know. Uh, we still, I've basically have taken everything I could away from the manor. Uh, the manor is empty, it has no coin um, in the treasury, nothing is in there. So if we lose it, we at least, at least don't lose any money or any goods, but still it would be terrible. Now, um, we're going to go into Coimbra, see if we can perhaps sell something, some goods. Uh, it looks bad though. Yeah, not really any good prices here. Not really, no, I don't want to sell for these prices, honestly. Um, okay guys, so... Let's actually get out of here and let's talk. Let's see who we can talk to. Can we talk to our cousin? We can indeed. So Tangius has already been given to uh, Emir Ali. So let's see who we could give Quimbra to. Now, right now, if we would peace out right now, we would actually have gained a town. I would like that. I would like that very much. I doubt we can actually hold Quimbra, but we'll see. Um, so we're just going to chill for now. A couple of people are moving away. Hmm, my cousin. Perhaps... I wonder where they're going. I guess I'm going to follow them. I guess I want to follow my cousin. I want to know where they're going. Um, yeah. And the Sultan as well. I think they're going to Iran. It doesn't... It doesn't say. Accompanying the Emir. Yeah, he's still... He, he just went back. That's odd. Where are you going? I hate that we're splitting up. Honestly. Don't like it. Um, the Sultan. Let's stay with the Sultan. Ima Ibrahim. Whew, well, I don't know. Well, let's talk to him. Let's talk to him and see if we can distribute the uh, town of Kimbra right now. If we can catch him. Oh, there's a little fight going on, but it's not going to be too important. Uh, yeah, who should receive the fief of Kimbra? The Caliph of Marrakesh. Okay, can I convince you to support me? No. So, I guess what we're going to do... I'm gonna support your choice. Yep, my cousin. My cousin, the Caliph of Marrakesh. There you go. I wish I could get a thief as well, but it's probably gonna be some time before I can. Um, but yeah, if my if my cousin gets it, that's awesome. We just improve relations with both of these lords, uh, both of these, uh, I guess, emirs. And who's this? Custodies. Well, I don't want to get involved in that. We're still pretty hurt. Um, especially, yeah, our, our advisors and myself. 32 health only. I don't really want to get involved, I don't have to. By the way, I also grabbed a couple of these Andalus uh, people, and they, they think they're upgrading too much stronger troops, honestly. So maybe we want to recruit these guys instead of our Berber um, recruits. We'll see. We, we won't always be able to do it, but if we can, we probably should. Um, so I'm going to give you a spearman. 
Yep. So yeah, I'm, I wonder if they can take Oran. <sighs> Man. Oh, now they've stopped the siege. They're not raiding my village. Okay. Are they sieging Tanjiris? They're probably going to try and take Coimbra back. I could imagine. Yeah. Well, that's good. That was really good then. They're not sieging anymore. So, well, I'm thinking I'm, th I'm thinking that we're going to get see a peace here really soon. Um, and we're, we're going to go victorious out of this war. Awesome. That's pretty good. Who's this? Ishak. Okay. All right. I don't know where you're going, but I'm going to follow you anyway. Probably... Are you going to siege that? Nah, I doubt you're going to siege it. You're probably going to just raid. You're going to raid Braga, aren't you? Pretty sure. Yep, he is. But maybe I can... Okay, now they're already looting it. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to follow around, and if something interesting happens, I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Welcome back guys, and we have a little bit of a problem here. This guy right here, Don Pero Pais, the Alva Renga, he wants to raid our village, Stamson. And I've, as you can see, tried to avoid him for quite some time, tried to lure him away from the village, but he just doesn't want to. So I think what I need to do is uh, face him over here, and perhaps, preferably in open uh, or an open field battle, because this guy has so many archers, uh, mostly archers. We have better cavalry, so I think we're going to have to fight him in the open field. That's going to be our best chance at winning. Uh, although, even, even still, I, I, I don't have much hope. I don't have high hope guy because he has so many well stronger troops we have a lot of shit troops because I basically just tried to rebuild our army um, uh, build it up a little bit um, but we'll see now the enemy are going or well, the enemies are gonna come from over here so I guess we can't really do much other than grab this small little hill so let's get our archers up here let's get our infantry set up in the front um, let's get our advisors up here as well and I guess the cavalry well, where do I put the cavalry? Don't know, there's not really a good spot to fight, I guess. From over here? The cavalry must just charge. Yeah. The cavalry, you must charge against the enemy cavalry. Where is my cavalry? I do have cavalry, yes. It's too late, I send in the cavalry too late. Yep. So now they're stuck with our own infantry. That's yeah. such a problem, I hate this. Alright, come on guys. We can do this though. We can do this though. We have the better cavalry. Come on. They may win in, in other battles, but we win the open field. Come on. We, we gotta win somewhere, right? right let's take care of their archers. Yeah, it look it, it's looking good. It's looking actually quite well. Right. Not hitting all that well, but... Oh my gosh, there's more? Oh, that's his That's his actual infantry there. And there is the Don. Took care of a little bit of his horse. Uh, we're just gonna have to nip at his men. Oh, hey, go, go. Let me, let me go. Nope, nope. We could not escape. Infantry, charge. And let's throw... Oh my god, who's who's shooting me? I don't know. I think we got this. We almost got this. There he is. His horse went down. And I knocked him unconscious. Yes! That's it. That's right. I'm your master now. I'm your master. Hopefully we can actually capture this guy. A Nordic axe. Well, I'm going to grab that one. Yes! Not that I particularly like axes, but, uh, you know, that's, that's my loot. Alright, so we successfully defended our village. I'm quite glad actually. Let's see. Let's go over the cavalry casualties. We lost one cavalry uh, and lancer. And uh, that's it. You only two two losses. That's pretty good. That was pretty good indeed. Uh, and you are indeed my prisoner, good sir. Um, and look at all of the people we can grab. Now this is awesome. So we have some really good people we can actually equip ourselves with. Oh, Muslim mercenary archers. Yep, definitely. Some urban bowmen. Um, Berber skirmishes, that's fine. Mercenary spearmen, probably not going to take them. Professional cavalry and the lancer, so we got all of our losses back. Uh, Muslim mercenary horsemen, mercenary spearmen, I'll take all of them. Uh, I'm probably going to also pick the pirate. 
simply because we are in need of troops and the radar as well. Not sure what I should do about this guy, but you know what? I'm just gonna pick. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick him as well. But uh, what we're gonna do? Uh, this guy is gonna go completely in the front. He's gonna be our most frontline fighter. And then we're gonna also put the raider up there with the pirates. The pirate and the raider are also gonna come and, and fight in the front lines, um, and you as well. So that they hopefully die quick, because I don't want to have them around for too long, but... Awesome, so we can even upgrade a couple more dudes to our professional cavalry, and we want some more bowmen. Yeah, definitely. And let's take all of these captives as well, awesome. Um, this guy, the mercenary spearman, militia archer. Yep, I think we can take all of them. Yeah, we can. Nice. So a one-on-one -on -one battle, and we've actually defeated the Lord. I'm, I'm impressed. And we have actually some pretty good gear. This is a pretty nice helmet, pretty nice sword. Yep, that's awesome. All right, let's uh, let our heroes. Yeah, they've actually chosen some of these things. I think one of them was wearing this or using this mace. He's now using a sword. Awesome. But uh, yeah, that was necessary. We needed to defend our land. That was so crucial. Okay, so I don't think he, I think that was the threat that we averted for now. Uh, we'll have to see though what happens next because I'm pretty sure there is more people coming to uh, take away our riches. All right, as I said, I want more bowmen. Now we should probably go back to Algiers, um, but for now I kind of want to sell my prisoners. Yep, there's a ransom broker here even. Awesome. This is the Wandering Bard. There's a ransom broker. I want to sell all of my prisoners. 1,400 gold. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Could even get some more Muslim mercenaries spearmen, but I think we have enough men for now. We're almost 100, and I also probably want to sell this stuff. We can't sell all of it. That's a shame. And this is a good price as well. Also not enough money. Really? Uh, maybe the... Okay, the wine. The horse, what can we sell here? Um, this, probably. That's fine. The armor. Let's sell... Uh, it's not enough. It doesn't work. How about this then? Uh, that will work. Any arms? No, we can't sell any of this. At least not both of them. Alright, that, that will do. That will do. We sold a little bit of our stuff. That's awesome. How much money do we have right now? 125 and we have one dude imprisoned. Or, well, captured anyway. Cool. I guess we want to go to Algiers and just check out um, where the other guys are at. Um, see if they're doing anything. Manor of Tennis may be looted, but I can't really concern myself with that for now. Who's this guy? Emil Umar. Hmm, wonder where he's going right now. Seems like a lot of people have just left. Is the feast over? I'm guessing. No, there's still plenty of people here. Uh, Caliph of Marrakesh and of Morocco. Let's talk to these guys. Yep. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. Um, Emil Salia. Yeah, there's my cousin. He likes me quite a bit. Um, now, you know what? He wants to support the Sultan again. Um, I would like to ask you something. What about your daughter? Uh, what would it take to... Yeah, there we are. It's a custom... Unfortunately, no one in my household is eligible... What? What about your daughter? What about your daughter? <sighs> Behind my... I'm her lord a guardian. I have plans for her. Okay, so he, he does not want me to marry his daughter. That's rather annoying. Let's visit her in, anyway. I mean, right? Let's try to get our relations up with Kasif. There we are. And um, we must elope. We must elope at once. Tell. Oh, as you may know, I have been entertaining offers from a number of gentlemen such as yourself. I'm not yet at a stage where I can commit to any of them. He grieves me to hear that, my lady, but such things... My who is this miscreant? Tell me his name. We have none of such talk. It is nonsense for you and Emir Sali to fight over. Ooh. I challenge him to a trial of arms. I will indeed. I will indeed challenge that man. He doesn't. She doesn't like it, actually. Well, do you like poetry? She does. But she's not as happy anymore. Well, you know what, Kazif? I'm going to fight for you. I want you to be my wife. Um, and actually, I'm going to grab one more cavalry here while we're at it. Okay, so we now need to duel that one guy. I don't know if we can actually do it. But if we're atop our horse, we can probably do it. If we're on foot, probably not. So let's check out where this guy is, Emir Zali. Um, 
Last time we saw him, where he was at Algiers. Is he here right now? Is he here? Yeah, he is. He is here right now at the feast, guys. Okay, so we're gonna have to get this guy. Talk to him. Well, I'm think I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. We're going to challenge Emir Sali next time, and we're gonna hopefully win to get the favor of our cousin's daughter. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for joining me, guys, and I will see you next time. Steve Jorka, signing out.